Welcome to Exotic Pets. My name is Rayan, and today I'll be showing you how to make a DIY incubator for tarantula eggs or eggs with legs. So let's begin. Okay, guys, so I have all the stuff that I need now. Over here, you will need a big plastic container, and here, a relatively small container, which is lid is already cut to save time. And th this I'm going to be using as a base. I'll explain it later. And over here, you'll need a, t a paper towel roll. And you'll need stockings. And, like, and a water sprayer. So, the first thing you do is cut it, which, has, which that I have already done. Then, you take off the lid get a piece of the paper put it into the container take another one I mean spray it put another one on top so, which makes it two layers of tissue paper. Then, do the same thing, but this time, quietly more. To, to keep it stick and good. Oops, over here I've just made it come out of the container. Like everyone makes mistakes. Okay, so now you punch the paper in. Make sure that it doesn't fall, which is stiff and good. Now get the leg. Now get the stockings. Just moving these stuff out of my way. Find the opening, which is right over here. Then you will have to put the leggies on top of the container and cover the part. Well, you will not need the dark side of the leggy. You will need the lighter side, which will come after you keep it right. Now move this. Then you will get the lid which you will cut. Put it on top. Then you get scissors. To cut the leggies, which means that you just don't want extra. Okay, as you can see, I have cut the extra leggings. Oh, we don't need this. And now for the big container. You need to get more paper towel. One more for the top of one layer. And now water. And 
Now punch it down. Make an other layer with paper towel. Do the same with water. Punch it down again. And a little bit of more water. And now I have a base to hold the things because I have a naughty little brother, so I'm not risking anything. And with double sided tape with Velcro, and give it a little gentle push. And over here, I have rubber balls. The <laughs> example of the eggs. And you have to separate them with a brush. And now, our DIY. And, and I have holes on the top for temperature. And now our DIY tarantula incubator for eggs or eggs with legs is complete. Don't forget to maintain the humidity every once a week. And I have made this incubator for my hystero kids gigas, my giant baboon, which I will be, which the egg sac will be opening by me in the next video. Have a good day or night, whichever part of the world you are in.